This video will demonstrate how to optimize pump performance for off-gassing chemical applications using a Grunfoss Smart Digital Dosing Pump. When off-gassing occurs, it can cause the pump to lose its prime. For this video, the dosing pump has already been calibrated for the fluid used for the application. If you need to learn how to calibrate a Grunfoss Digital Dosing Pump, we recommend you watch our short video titled, How to Calibrate the Grunfoss Smart Digital XL Dosing Pump. Because this video is about degassing, here's a quick demonstration to show the display on the pump during a proper compression and when there's a degassing of the fluid. So first we're going to turn the click wheel on the pump to the information option. Press the click wheel to enter the information screen. Turn the click wheel down to back pressure. Press the click wheel to enter the back pressure settings. Now on the left we have the pressure in the system and then along the bottom we have our stroke length over time. So we're going to press the start stop key to start the pump. And so now you can see that currently we have good pressure in the system and everything is operating properly. So now we'll introduce some air into our system to simulate a degassing fluid. And so you can see when the air hit the dosing head, we have a loss of compression in the system. It takes a moment to compress the air out of the pump before it can continue to function normally. And I'll press the click wheel and turn the click wheel back to our home screen option. And we can turn off the pump by pressing the start stop key. The first function that we're going to demonstrate for this video is auto deaeration. The auto deaeration function avoids breakdown of the dosing process due to air locking when dosing off gassing liquids such as sodium hypochlorite or parasitic acid. During long dosing breaks, air bubbles can form in the suction line and get into the dosing head. If too much air is in the dosing head and the dosing process is started again, no liquid will be dosed due to the air lock. Software controlled diaphragm movements at regular intervals encourage the air bubbles to rise and finally be displaced out of the dosing head. So to set up auto deaeration, you turn the click wheel to the setup option. Then press the click wheel to enter the setup functions. Turn the click wheel down to auto deaeration. Press the click wheel to enter that function. Press the click wheel one more time to confirm the settings. And now you can see that we've checked auto deaeration. So now when we go back to our main screen, back at the home, now you can see the air bubbles there showing that we have auto deaeration set up. The next function that we'll demonstrate is the setting up of the slow mode feature on the digital dosing pump. Now it's important to note that the maximum rated capacity of the pump will be reduced when using slow mode. For example, our pump has a maximum dosing capacity of 2 gallons per hour during normal operation. There's a 50% reduction in the maximum dosing capacity when using the 50% slow mode. And there's a 75% reduction in the maximum dosing capacity when using the 25% slow mode. For this demonstration, we set the flow rate at a half a gallon per hour because we want to demonstrate using the pump in the 25% slow mode option. So we'll start the pump by pressing the start stop key. Then we'll turn the click wheel to the setup option. And then press the click wheel to enter the setup functions. Then we'll turn the click wheel down to slow mode and then press the click wheel to enter the slow mode functions. Then we'll turn the click wheel down to the 25% max slow mode and press the click wheel. Press the click wheel one more time to confirm the settings. Now we'll go back to our home screen. And now you can see the snail there indicating that we set up the pump for slow mode. I will start the pump by pressing the start stop key. And now you can notice how the suction stroke has slowed down to help prevent the off gassing of the chemical. 
Also notice that the pump is still discharging the half a gallon per hour to the system. Now I'll press the start stop key to stop the pump. And the next function that we'll demonstrate to help prevent off gassing is the auto flow adapt. The integrated auto flow adapt makes additional monitoring and control devices redundant. For this application, the system that we're dosing into has a normal system pressure of 50 PSI. However, we know that the system has been known to have fluctuations. We already have our flow rate set for half a gallon per hour and our pump is operating normally. To so set the auto flow adapt, you turn the click wheel to go to the setup menu, press the click wheel to enter the setup functions, turn the click wheel until you get to auto flow adapt, press the click wheel to accept those functions, press the click wheel again to confirm the settings, and now you can see that the auto flow adapt has been selected. Now we'll go back to our main screen. So now to demonstrate how the pump responds, once we set up the auto flow adapt, we're going to go back into our information screen. We'll turn the click wheel down to back pressure. Press the click wheel so we can get our back pressure graph. So I'm going to press our start stop button. We're going to begin closing a valve on the discharge side of the pump to increase our back pressure to the system. Now that we've changed the back pressure to our system, you can observe the changes in the graph as well as the pump speed. The pump is adjusting the motor speed to compensate for the increased system back pressure and it continued to give the same target flow output. So now we'll go back to our home screen. So now you can see that our system pressure has increased on our back pressure and the pump is still operating normally to account for this because of the auto flow adapt. And we'll press our start stop key to stop the pump. We hope you've enjoyed this short video and thank you.